Yeah. May I know your good name, please? Pranusha, sir. Yeah, Pranusha. How are you? Fine, sir. What are you doing, Yeah, I'm so good. And yeah, Pranusha, quickly introduce yourself. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Pranusha. I have completed my graduation. I'm currently staying in Hyderabad, but bought and worked in Tiruvuru. Coming to my family, there are four members, including me. My hobbies are listening music, watching TV, reading books. My technical skills are manual testing, automation testing, along with Core Java, my soft drink, self motivated, always passionate about learning new things. My aim is to become a good software tester. Yeah, that's good. And actually, I'm going to ask some questions in manual. Okay, is it okay for you? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I'm directly going with the question. So, what is the difference and what is test scenario and test case? What to test and when you need test condition is called test scenario. Okay. How to test and step by step process is called test case. Okay, can you give an example? These two are updated into a required traceability matrix. Yes, uh, so you are saying in a real time perspective. I am asking one example, like uh, if the login is the scenario, how can you test that? Validating. Valid yes. inputs and invalid inputs. Yeah, okay, fine. So you need to make a some clear. So giving valid inputs like one test case and giving invalid inputs is second case like that. Okay, so what is graphical user interface testing? It's the testing of process of a user interface of application. It includes all the elements such as menus, checkbox, font, size, icons, images, etc. Yeah, okay. So what is regression testing? Regression testing. Once the defect fixed by developer to check side effects of functionalities along with the defect. Checking defect related all functionalities called regression testing. Okay, so after the defect fixing. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, now what is retesting? This one also same. After the defect fixed by developer, check again and again the functionality is called as retesting. Yeah, okay, you are saying both are after the defect fixing. Yes, sir. So why we need to do two testings? Now what is the difference? Retesting means checking again and again the functionality. Regression means checking the side effects with the defect. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. Yeah. Okay, what is smoke testing? Smoke testing. Once bull released by developer. Yeah, okay. To check it's whether the bull application is stable or not. By yeah, okay. Checking basic login functionality. Yeah, okay. So that is known as smoke testing. Yeah, okay. So, yes. Uh, are you know agile, uh, about agile process? Yes, sir. Okay, what is agile? It is iterative and incremental model. Iterative, iterative means same process will be related. Repeats again and again. That means getting requirements, analysis, design, coding, etc. Yeah, okay, fine. So, what is, what are the documents we are getting from the design phase in software development life cycle? Right? There are two documents getting for the software development. Okay, what are the documents? HLD and LLD. What is the D like uh, HLD means what? In high, HLD means high level design. LLD means low level design. Yes, uh, you are saying the abbreviation. I am saying exactly what is the document. HLD, it requires the functionalities. LLD requires the module wise. Okay. Like uh, same answer you need to say, high level design is performing the overall architecture. Low level is, low level is performing only module levels. Okay, yeah, fine. And are you aware of the concept of priority? Priority. What is meant by priority and uh, give one example for high priority defect? Priority means importance of defect. Yeah, okay. The defect should must be fixed. Okay. Example of high priority issue with the login functionality. Okay, yes, fine. How many levels of testing you are doing? There are four levels. Unit testing, integration testing, system testing, user acceptance testing. Yeah, okay. Which level, like... Uh, Yes, there is a level one is unit and integration like okay. So yeah, Pranisha, what is white box testing and who will perform it? Testing conducted on source code by programmer to ensure the hundred percent code working as per the requirement or not is called as white box testing. It includes two unit testing and integration testing. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Okay, Pranisha. So 
yeah what i am saying like uh, i require this much of questions only but i need to ask some like a uh, personal wise question so uh, how can you prove yourself you are fit for this position i believe i am fit for this Mm, yes. Based on my technical skills, knowledge. Yes, there is a ten peoples. Like before that, only we taken ten peoples interview. They are also having knowledge. They are also having skills. But I can use my good skills, communication skills, coding skills. Okay. I can improve with the company. Yeah, fine. So yes, they are also like I asked in previous one also. They also said same answer. So, like, uh, you need to say in your unique way, like, based on your skills, how much of belief you have yourself. Yeah, okay, fine. There is a chance to shift for the automation tester. Are you agree with that? Yes. Yeah, okay. Are you know any programming language awareness? Yes. Like, which programming language? Automation. For automation purpose, which programming language you know? Like, Java, Python, Java. or... Java. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fine. Uh, okay, uh, we are looking presently manual tester. If there is any chance to shift for automation for this project, we are searching for the new requirements, like a uh, new interviews for the automation also. And we prefer, uh, prefer for that also. Okay, fine, Pranisha. Thank you. So, sir. that's all about my side. You have any questions? No, sir. Yeah, okay, fine, Pranisha. You can do. Thank you, sir. Uh,